Hey folks, this is Bitcoin Design Guy Jam Session, and we're uh, with a bunch of beautiful faces. Uh, I, we're going to be discussing content on the Lightning, um, on the Bitcoin Design Guide, um, and how we're going to start integrating Lightning into it. Um, there's some content that's already um, in the works, and um, yeah, we're just going to um, try to do like like a bit of brainstorming. It's going to be um, kind of light. Um, my proposal is that we start off with the getting started section. Um, I think there's um, a, a, a couple pages within there um, uh, that's in progress. Um, but uh, uh, if there's any other like ideas that you guys have, uh, please let me know. Let's uh, Let's discuss them. That sounds uh, sounds reasonable to me. Uh, I've been away for a few weeks. I'm not sure if uh, there's been progress on the Lightning side, if there's uh, been any discussion on how to go about it or any kind of plan, or, or are we making the plan right here and right now? There's been a little bit of work done um, and uh, in, in kind of small pieces. And I'm trying to um, kind of like live here while we're meeting, trying to kind of assemble this into um, a map in the uh, uh, Google Docs that uh, John's posted. And so we have a couple of different issues uh, open on GitHub related to some of this stuff. And, uh, um, and I'm trying to just kind of get assemble this in one place so we can see what what is currently in progress at the moment um one that I've, we have is just the general issue around identifying what content around lightning should be added to the guide and um there's kind of a long discussion thread there i'd say that um you know there, there's a lot of detail and a lot of viewpoints but the general kind of um idea of this is that you know people are arriving at consensus around the idea that um uh lightning content should be integrated uh with the existing guide and not um, uh, not uh, as two separate sections. And then uh, another one we have is uh, the light adding lightning content uh, to the technology primer page. I think that might've been an issue Bosch opened. And okay, yeah, thank you, Johns. Yeah, there was a, so a discussion thread in GitHub and then a work in progress Google doc there. Then adding lightning uh, node content to glossary node page. That was another one of uh, Bosch's issues. and. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure. I don't think that there's actually a Google uh, doc yet in progress for this one. At least if it is, it's not in the uh, GitHub issue yet. Um, so that's what I'm seeing already going on. And then I think another thing worth uh, bringing to attention around the Lightning topic is just we have uh, in the discussion section of the guide repository, we have two topic two or three topics here that i guess are relevant um so one would be kind of what questions do you have about lightning which is uh, just kind of a general purpose um discussion thread where people are trying to educate themselves about lightning uh, let me pull that one up and then we have another one which is Integrate Lightning into Software Overview. So this is a discussion that Bosch started. Bosch is going at it hard. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's a helpful update. Um, so yeah, there does seem to be consensus then that we should be integrating it in the existing content and um, starting with the getting started chapter obviously it seems to make sense um, so is the um, is there kind of a working group or is this or is uh, one individual starting to kind of rewrite that chapter to see what differences are needed it's pretty much um whoever's jumping in, um, <laughs> uh, 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 who wants to, you know, is up for grabs. I think um, uh, uh, maybe um, uh, Stephen could talk about like, um, like some plans that he has uh, for that. And did we, did we decide to do like a, a whole new branch where all of this work is happening or is it kind of still 
TBD or have we decided to kind of do one merge at a time? I'm always for one merge at a time, um, maybe with a development branch um, for previewing, like everything together. Um, but I don't think there's um, there's much in terms of like PRs open. Um, I'm gonna try to um, uh, 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 get into high gear. Yeah, Pavnik says um, uh, one merge at a time. He's uh, he's listen only for now. Um, so uh, I guess in terms of content, um, some that. Uh, uh, I guess it's a bit further along, um, but still needs quite a bit of work, um, is the um, uh, technology primer. Uh, so myself and Papanex, um met up, and we were doing um, some working sessions on that. Um, and uh, the stage that it's in now, um, I did two readings with one of Alexa and one of uh, the Christian here. Um, uh, I think the next stage is to probably get some of the um, Maintainers involved in like that reading um, as well. Um, I did it with a couple, you know, like kind of like uh, um, you know people who aren't into the content um, uh, uh, as much, and um, and yeah, I think maybe it needs to be. It's still it still needs to be simplified a bit. Um, it is still quite technical, but I I, I think the flow works. The flow in like the different sections of the um uh, uh, of that page, um the link is in the Google Doc by the way. Yeah, I'm looking. Um, at... but yeah, so um that one will probably end up getting updated first if everything goes to plan, um on the site. Then the question is like 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 what are what are our priorities right um for like the other sections, um. Or even the getting like like the pages within the getting started section, like what needs to get updated. The technology primer is an easy one, but yeah, what else? I think the technology primer is uh, an obvious one, just in that you know there's a lot of you know technology obviously in there, so there's you know a lot a lot of lightning things that need to be added. Um, so I know you have that in progress. I, I really feel like each page in getting started could probably be updated. Um, a little bit, uh, trying to like, you know, why Bitcoin is unique. Um, that may, maybe that page doesn't need it. Um, I, I feel like that might, you know, uh, that that one might be okay. Visual language could probably use, um, you know, at least a discussion on there around um, just kind of all the like lightning artwork that we see. Just how like the, you know. The, the the lightning bolt symbol is you know kind of you know the community has kind of take that and uh, taken that and run with it and I, that that page might actually be a, a helpful place where we we should discuss that you know um, you know while you can use the lightning symbol and you know you use that um, uh, to your heart's content and your brand uh, we should also probably be talking about how like. This, this would be a really good place of like where we want to have that discussion about how we don't want um, Bitcoin and Lightning to feel like two different things. So, you know, having fun, having fun and, and being expressive and using Thunder and all that kind of stuff is cool. But keeping it clear to the user that they are, in fact, using Bitcoin. I think that's probably something worth getting into on visual language. Um, software, like hardware overview page. Um, I'm not sure if we actually need a whole lot of uh, additional hardware on this page. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, I, don't, I can't think of anything off the top of my head uh, hardware wise that would be lightning specific. Um, but the, uh, the software overview page, I think, um, you know, I feel like we had had a discussion about this somewhere in a GitHub thread and just like talking about like, do we need to uh, lightning explorers like we already talk about like block explorers should we mention lightning explorers uh, on this page um, that that seems like it would be a relevant thing and I think Bosch was uh, raising the point of should there be uh, should LSPs be listed uh, on this page um, I personally don't feel like it because I feel like that's more of a service and not necessarily a software interface but um, open for discussion on that Yeah, the software page seems to need quite a bit of uh, intricate wording updates because most of the paragraphs, most of the sub sub chapters, kind of needs to be mentioning lightning within 
within it, right? So that one seems to be a substantial one. Mm. But otherwise this chapter, this whole getting started chapter, doesn't feel like it's that heavy work in terms of lightning. Um, should we be like trying to focus our efforts uh, then like collectively um, on it before we like go to like other areas? Because like there is, um, like uh, uh, like sending Bitcoin, for instance, um, uh, uh, that could be worked on. Um, one of the, I think one of the natural ones uh, for me with the technology primer is um, like after the technology primer is actually um, a page on routing and payment channels. Um, uh, for instance, the, um, the life cycle of a payment channel, um, just as we have the uh, uh, transaction overview and in the payment section, the life cycle of a payment channel. I think that makes sense to also have. And you're saying that should uh, probably go into the payment section? Yeah, yeah, but it's um, it's breaking out of the getting started now. So I'm like asking if we should like like kind of like concentrate um, yeah. only on the, the 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 getting started collectively, or like mm. this idea that I have for like this other page. Um, uh, well, it seems reasonable to, uh, you know, we can parallelize this work later, but uh, while talking about it now, it seems like um, the package of work with the Getting Started chapter seems uh, like it could be done in one, I don't know, either that's done in one PR, because there aren't that many pages that need updating, or each of those sub pages have their own PR, I, I know, I don't care too much, but I, that's why I'm wondering about the, the wider strategy about whether there's a, another branch or not, because it, as a reader, it could be confusing <laughs> eventually. You know, if you start, you, you're, you're in the getting started chapter, there's everything about lightning and then you get to the kind of payment chapter and there's nothing. So that, that's why I'm wondering, like, you know, is there anything that needs to be delivered at the same time here? And, you know, where's the heart of the matter? For example, if you're a designer, right? Like, and if you get to the case, you know, where will you go? Where will you be most disappointed if there's nothing about lightning, right? Uh, I think you bring up a really good point, Daniel. Um, you know, the, the getting started section to me seems like really low hanging fruit. It's probably um, one of the easier sections to update. And if we wanted to, you know, get that one, done relatively quickly, I feel like we could do that. But the other sections start to become more complicated when we start talking about payments and um, sending and receiving with Lightning. And then how much do we want the user to be aware of payment channels? Uh, how much do we want them to have to think about it? I feel like there's going to be a lot of discussion there. And um, I, that seems like the kind of thing where we could kind of break the guide in a sense where if we like to Daniel's point, like we post something about lightning in one section of the payment section because it was merged and then there was something else, um, you know, uh, we, we kind of don't even mention lightning in the next, cha next chapter that could be very confusing. I, 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 I feel like as we get deeper into this process, it's going to, the conversation is going to become more complicated and messier and it would probably uh, be better for the reader if we kept this all on some kind of like lightning branch or something like that. And I'm not saying we have to hide it and not keep it public or something, but if we could just, you know, kind of have like a, hey, here's V1 of the guide, it's on master, it's publicly available. And um, then we have kind of like the, the V2 of the guide um, on another branch. And anybody who wants to go look at it is free to go look at it, but we kind of keep it off of the, the main page until we know that it tells a cohesive story about designing for Bitcoin and Lightning. Hi guys, sorry, uh, I was away. Um, just wanted to chime in on this one, uh, if I can, for a second. Uh, well, if we try to keep things separate, I've been thinking about it, and um, it will just introduce uh, way, way, way more pain points for us to merge these things later on and iron out content. I think it is good to admit that people don't read a uh, guide from start to finish. So uh and also like one contra argument would be that this way we would actually get feedback that people are reading the guide so they will be asking questions about lightning 
so we can then take notes on those questions and then improve pages on the go. I think if we keep it on the development branch, it will just remain hidden and uh, later on it will be uh, way more difficult and uh, quite honestly, it will be mo mostly excuse for us to be lazy about Lightning this way. We'll just uh, deliver things on a go. I, I understand and then agree with Daniel's points, but come on, uh, like it's not that we are developing so critical software. It's like a text that can be improved uh, based on feedback in a day if people actually read it. So um, I was really for keeping it on a separate branch, but just thinking about it, it will just uh, introduce maybe a little bit more uh, problems later on. That was like, because if you have like one PR, then uh, people want to improve it, then... PR on top of that PR, which isn't merged or which is on separate branch. And then if you uh, want to uh, later on add that uh, to like master branch, then we'll have like all <laughs> to do all refactoring all over again. So just it can be a little bit difficult. And uh, if I can say I would just go with YOLO merge and improve based on people's feedback. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not sure merge. if this is approach uh, you guys agree with. It's just my, my opinion. So, yeah, just want to say that. Well, I think you bring up a good point of managing multiple um, multiple versions because um, uh, perhaps there's like spelling mistakes or issues with um, with that V1 content, and it's going to start diverging from um, from 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 the other Lightning branch, um, as you were saying. So um, I think that's more reason for us to go with that YOLO merge yeah. approach. And and what one point that Daniel brought up? Uh, this is very good, I think. Uh, he, Daniel, I think I was sorry. I was like in a car, so I couldn't hear all of the conversation. But I think you, you mentioned like identifying critical things that user may be confused. So if they see lightning in technology primer, then they may be confused if there is no lightning in the payment section. So maybe we can just create a milestone, agree that we deliver content on the payments in certain sections, just the basics of it, so that we don't like ignore lightning. And then we push that milestone for the next month. We say we will de deliver technology primer and we will deliver basics in, you know, payments. And later on, we'll iron out those. But yeah, I'm just, you know, brainstorming at this point. So yeah, no, I was also mostly, you know, thinking out loud about how, how we go about this. I mean, I don't think it's a, an unsolved problem how to work with two different branches in software demo development. Uh, so I, I don't. I don't think it's as b bad and as difficult as you make it out, because uh, you know pretty much every software team does this. But I'm okay with a YOLO approach and kind of merging merging in the open. But then I would suggest that we have a solid plan before we start actually working on stuff and merging it, because what I would don't want to happen is that you know we start on one PR, merge it, and then like oh okay. You know, where does this thing end? We don't even know how much work is left. And, you know, it might be a year. So I would suggest that, and I started in the, in the uh, you know, in the, in the Google Doc. Maybe there's a better place. But basically scoping this out properly. So saying for each chapter, you know, which pages need to be updated? How big a job do we roughly think they are? Which, you know, which pages within the chapters are the heavy lifting? Um, and then we kind of decide beforehand, you know, how many PRs are this going to be? Who's leading each of them? Um, and then uh, we can have an idea at least of like how many are they going to be? And, you know, are we going to do this by Christmas or by summer next year? Something like that, at least. If we go YOLO, let's do it a bit planned. That's all I'm saying. I think the um the idea of like the the YOLO merge thing was um would, would be like one page at a time versus like one section in the in the page, um, so I don't know if that's what uh, 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 that's what I, I'm not sure if that's what was your concern. Like I'm, um, I'm okay with that too, yeah. just as long as we know, you mm -hmm. know, that this chapter is going to have five PRs. Mm. That's fine, you know, if it's page by page, I'm okay with that. I just want to mm. know that it's not just like oh, page five and page one, you know, page twenty-five, you know, like mm. who's doing what and when. Okay. Well, um, uh, uh, from the getting started one, I think this is a good like first one uh, 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 that we're discussing now. Um, and maybe we could bundle the introduction um, as part of that. But we have um, uh, getting started. We have uh, why Bitcoin's unique, the visual language. We know now that the, the visual language one would need to get updated. The technology primer is a work in progress. Um, software overview. Uh, okay. 
that like Bitcoin and CME could be could be um, modified just introducing that Bitcoin can have layers and that mm. may introduce lightning. Yeah. Ah, yes, that's a very good point. Okay. I think I think that Bosch opened up an issue for that. Uh, he called it extendability, I believe. And, mm. uh, so we do have that one. So uh, this okay. is this is actually yeah. I, I was really thinking about having like this approach, just discussing and then just bundling up all the things that we identified, as Daniel said, maybe critical, and then pushing that in the sprint for the next two or three weeks, and then we deliver that as a whole. Like either if it is a chapter or it is multiple chapters with just basic pages added. But I agree that it needs to have sense uh, for the reader. It might not be like in-depth information, but at least uh, some basics would Something, be good. Yeah. Uh, would you would you prefer me to like as we talk immediately bundle up all of these things, or uh, would you, Daniel, prefer to do it in a Google Doc? Uh, I mean, I think it's good to have overview in a Google Doc first before we start um, kind of uh, doling out the work. And you know, it, I mean, it feels to me that this is not going to be the work of one person, obviously. It's going to be the, the work of many. But I've also felt in the past that uh, PRs need to have a, you know, kind of a leader, <laughs> need to have someone that is owning it and make sure it's moving forward and then they you know can work with other people to to move it forward but i feel that it's quite good to know who's responsible to bringing each pr over the line and um so i, I think that's kind of what i was trying to start here some kind of idea of like where are the heavy lifting in this chapter so not just listing you know the existing pages also trying to you know roughly estimate is this a big job or a small job? Mm -hmm. um, so, so far, um, with the getting started, we have, um, uh, just to summarize, and these, um, uh, I'm reading out from our meeting notes today. Um, so why Bitcoin is unique, um, uh, add extensibility slash layers, visual language, mention the lightning bolt, um, technology primer, so that's a, um, pretty much an entire page refactor, um, software overview, um, uh, talk about lightning explorers and um, I, I think it could be included in payment processors too and Yeah, it's basically everything everything yeah, on yeah. that page. Yeah, <laughs> so that's Just why sprinkle. I call it major, right? Like gotcha, every, gotcha. every piece of software there almost needs to mention mm -hmm. it and there needs to be an additional thing about mm -hmm. lightning nodes and you know. Okay, and then the additional one that we're not really sure uh, 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 How it gets updated is the hardware overview um, yeah, uh, there doesn't seem to be too much. So that's why that minor, you know, someone needs to have a detailed look to see if what's going on there. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be, you know, a um, lot of work. So I guess, um, for instance, it says tens of thousands of nodes participate in the Bitcoin network. They're called nodes. Nodes exchange, verify, and compare block and transaction data. So I guess this is this is the kind of like minor changes that we would have to um, be updating. Yeah, like I could see some language in there about how, you know, oh, you know, a, lone, a node could also, you know, be, you know, run a lightning node as well. Um, uh, so there, there could be, you know, some, some mention of that, but we yeah. probably don't need to drill yeah. that point too hard. Yeah, okay. it's a couple of paragraphs max, right? Mm. So. Yep. Okay, so we kind of like um, have that thing um, that Daniel was talking about, but for the getting started now. So, okay, we're all done. Bye. <laughs> so, I feel like yeah. I feel like each page in this list could kind of be its own PR. Mm -hmm. Yep, that makes okay. sense. And um, I think even before that, um, we create issues for them. And um, if maybe if we go through this process with like each section, like like as a group, um, just to like t yeah, just to talk about the content and see what could be added, it can be like a good base for the. Um, for the uh, issue, and then maybe someone wants to jump in from outside, say, hey, I want to write about this topic or I want to tackle this thing, um, they would be able to. But if we um, like build up that backlog from um, like, far, like far enough into the future, but we're um, a, a, a stepping through each section like chronologically. Yep. Uh, and then discussions could be had on those issues, and maybe someone says, "Oh, I have a better idea for 
or you know this 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 area should also be um, updated and whatnot. Because I think um, one of the difficult ones is probably going to be the private key management one. Um, definitely the payments one as well. Um, uh, yeah. Because it's not just mnemonics anymore. Some people are writing them. So we don't need to just figure this out right now, but mm. you know, one way of structuring it could be just you know, uh, each person takes a page who wants to contribute. Like I know you've you've you and Pavlinix have already done a, a good bit mm. of work on the technical primer, so it seems to me like you would be leading that PR, Johns, and then uh, whoever else is interested in you know uh, contributing lightning to writing could you know each take one of the other pages. Um, you know, I could probably, I mean, I'll be committing a, a good bit of time to this, obviously. So I'd be willing to take, uh, you know, one or two of these pages or as many as we need to. But I could, I could lead, you know, start off with leading one or two of these uh, page PRs and leave that open to see who wants to lead some of the other PRs. Yeah, I think it's, um, it's, uh, it's an open floor at the moment. Um, So uh, whoever takes the initiative, I guess, to start uh, a new issue or PR, feel free. I'm going to put under why Bitcoin is unique, uh, Bosch question mark, just because I know he had he had raised the issue. So I think maybe he he may maybe he already has something in mind there. Um, but we'll we'll confirm with that before just you know volunteering him for that. <laughs> yep. I think we did a pretty good job on the getting started um, one, and we have about half an hour left. Um, do you guys feel brave enough to try the next section to see if, uh, uh, to have a discussion of, about like what could be added there? Yeah, or we could even skip the next sec section, which is designing Bitcoin products. The reason I say that is because it's a big, it's a lot of pages, and I think mostly it doesn't really touch on uh, lightning so much but again someone needs to go through this a bit more detailed but i would say let's skip to say onboarding mm -hmm. maybe or one of the others you know feel free to pick pick another one uh, one of the uh, meteor ones well i i gotta say i mean i i, I want to challenge that assumption real quickly about designing bitcoin products i um I mean, i'm just kind of perusing this like you know feel like why design for Bitcoin? Yeah, I can't imagine there'd be a lot of lightning there. Open design, probably not. Principles, probably not. Um, user research, usage lifecycle, personal finance. Like I could almost see something on the, the personal. I, I, I feel like we should evaluate at least on the, um, the personal finance page, like the, the day to day spending section. Um, that seems to me like maybe there's room for some lightning content in there. Yeah, um, sure. No, I didn't mean I didn't mean that it was devoid of any need for it. Mm. Uh, and I think you highlighted the main point. <laughs> uh, all I meant was that um, I think this chapter is fairly light touch again. Um, mm. So we probably don't need half an hour on it. But maybe mm. since we're, we're we're on it right now, we could just make a note of it. Personal finance seems to be the first place and then where, while where we need to talk about it. Yeah, that makes sense. And a wallet interoperability seems like the other. That one, that's the one that like jumps out at me as needing a, a thorough review. Yeah, uh, common user flows might also need to mention it a bit. You know, at least in the current state where there is a difference between which wallets support Lightning and which do not. Yeah. Um, yeah, good but point. But we, we we may want to highlight instead that you know they, they should. They should support both, but I think that yeah. page probably needs a view. Uh, I think common common user flows. Looking at it now, it seems to it's going to need some extensive work on there, and I think um, it might be a little bit more difficult than the um, the technology primer in the sense that while well, there's creating a new wallet, if we want to keep that section, it's all talking about like mnemonics and um, you know. A, 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 um, multi keys and, and whatnot. Yeah, this is actually quite a deep page. I didn't realize it was so 
uh, yeah. long. <laughs> uh, okay, so I take back some of what I said, but so, mm. so let's uh, include this in the Google Doc then. Okay. Personal finance, common use of flows. Uh, I'll say that this is kind of major, probably. And wallet interoperability. Yeah. Uh, personal finance, I would say that's probably medium. How many user flow? I think it's major. Yeah. Um, instead of listing everything out, I'll just say, well, someone needs to look at that properly, and it's going to be quite a bit of work. Mm. And even um, uh, 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 we could probably um, try to come up with like um, like a checklist of, um, you know, like what it will take to get that content updated and like merged. For instance. Um, you know, we make a note of it, and we um, we assume that it's going to be a major update. Um, but then, someone someone has to go and look at it. What are they looking for? Um, and yeah. like, what's the next steps after that? Um, yeah, this could all start as issues. You know, where someone um, takes on the task of analyzing what needs changing. Mm -hmm. And then. Cool. Design resources. I don't think. No, uh, that shouldn't need much, if anything. Agreed. Yeah, one thing that Christoph, it's related a little bit to design re resources. He, ta uh, I talked to him, and he wants to actually iron out the wallet UI kit. So with it. It's a different project, but it is uh, it relates to the conversation here. So he wants to update it to have like lightning as well in there. So mm. or lightning first. Uh, so yeah, he will work on that one. So yeah, but it's not really guide related. Just a comment. Mm. Yeah. Uh, as a total side note, while we went through the designing Bitcoin products chapter, now I kind of feel that the meat of that chapter, if you're Say that you know a little bit about Bitcoin already. The meat of that chapter is actually in the common user flows page. Mm -hmm. uh, which, which chapter? The designing Bitcoin products chapter that we just went through. Mm -hmm. The common user flows page that we talked about needing quite a lot of work for Lightning. That actually feels like it's the meat of that chapter. There's a lot there that's very applicable to actually designing Bitcoin products, right? So yeah, total side note, but like I, I was wondering quietly if if people actually find that page. Hmm, yeah. But anyway, we don't need to get stuck on that now. We can move that's, on it. That's a good thing to think about. I mean, a, a simple salute, you know, thing might be, you know, maybe if, Maybe it is elevated in the stack. Maybe it comes sooner in the chapter rather than at the end. Yeah, like we could we could kind of really think how these pages fit together because uh, some of them are for like Bitcoin beginners, right? And while this page, the common user flows, is actually okay. I get what Bitcoin is now. Let me design some products. Could we? I know this may. Just make the getting started into <laughs> getting started bigger. But could some of these pages fit into getting started, like white design for Bitcoin or open design, or even principles? And they, then they could, and in fact, they they they, they used to be there. <laughs> it uh, it used to be one chapter, but it it had so many pages. It had literally fifteen pages or something. So that's why we did we split it. But maybe it's the mix is still not quite right. And maybe the split isn't right. So maybe some of them should be in the other one. Maybe, maybe the designing Bitcoin products could be more of the actionable stuff and the getting started could be um, more of the kind of the philosophy behind it kind of thing or the general terms. Mm. Yeah, could be. Um, there is one page um, outside of all of this that um, I'd like to also discuss. Um, we have um, uh, uh, Christoph is, um, uh, took on the work from Yanti that Yanti started on the units and symbols page. Um, and um, one, we need to find a home for it. 
um, it was initially in kind of like this foundation section under the payments. Um, so uh, I think it all it's also going to be touching on some lightning stuff, you know, units and symbols and whatnot. Satoshi's, for instance, in a way, it's lightning related. So um, where do we want to put this page? Uh, does it remain in payments? Does it um, go to getting started? Um, I would suggest payments for now. Mm -hmm. I would too, in the sense that I don't think you need it as you're getting started. Mm. I feel like it's something, well, I don't know, maybe. I feel like it's more related to payments. Maybe that's more it. One argument could be that, um, uh, you know, we talk about um, uh, in the technology primer, um, capital B or lowercase b, uh, whether it remains there or not, that's irrelevant. But within the, um, you know, like we talk about Bitcoin, the protocol and Bitcoin, the currency. And if we're talking about um, units and symbols, um, then perhaps uh, uh, we, you know, introduce Satoshi and whatnot at that point, um, like a bit early on. Um, you know, it makes sense to introduce it there, but I think it could be a link, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you could mention uh, in one sentence, literally that, you know, here, here are the main units, uh, find more information over here. And then it doesn't really matter in which chapter the page is. So yeah, I don't have a strong opinion on this. I would just probably stick it in the payments chapter for now. You know, some symbols. And I also took a note that it can um if we if we keep this um you know if it's a capital B or lowercase B kind of thing, we can um also put like a more info units and symbols um and link off from the technology primer into the wherever that page lives. Okay. Could well, it be slightly touched upon the individual language, maybe? Individual language. And then link back to it. I, I feel like I've seen it somewhere, like something similar where it could fit, but I can't find the page. Yeah, there's some page that kind of briefly mentions the uh, Satoshi symbol. I think that is visual language. Um, this is a quite detailed page, though, in this PR for units and symbols. So it's, um, and I feel like this page is less about like the visual expression of it and more like the um the what mathematical the representation of it like you know mm. how what power of 10 do you use to represent it to the user that kind of thing um yeah i don't know i i, I mean i'd personally be fine with payments for now it's it's on the one hand it's kind of it's like one of those things that like yeah i could see it going in designing bitcoin products just in that it's like hey this is what makes it different than non-bitcoin products but it's such an incredibly detailed you know, page with all these different, you know, numbering schemes. I, I feel like that maybe belongs, you know, deeper in the guide when you're, you know, really getting into the, the details of these user flows. So, I mean, payments feel feels okay for me for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and by the way, um, uh, that PR has been open for like, I think like eight months or so. So I would encourage you guys to um, uh, spend some time to um, give it a little review so we could like get it out there. Um, uh, perhaps we'll need to adjust the ordering or something, um, but uh, uh, at least the content to, to have a look at it. Christoph put in a lot of work in it and uh, recently to update it. And um, uh, Yanti also did a tremendous job uh, back in January um on that page yeah, so let's get it in before end of the year yeah i reviewed it uh not too long ago and i felt it was pretty close um th there were some things that are a little bit subjective preferences on you know mm -hmm. do you split uh split numbers up do you do you always show uh trailing zeros and stuff like that you know so I think we, we may just need to settle that um, mm. before we merge it, but th th there's not much. So back to Lightning. Mm -hmm. um, 
So uh, I just had a quick look at onboarding and uh, obviously creating a new wallet. And I think there's a lot here actually that needs to be looked at. So creating a new wallet, backing up a recovery phrase, uh, restoring a wallet, protecting a wallet, funding, they basically all need to be looked at. So this could be quite a bit of work. Now this yeah. makes me wonder how it should be addressed because it feels like a lot of these pages are going to have different ways of working. So it's not like you can say, um, I don't know, like if you can pick a step of it and then put Bitcoin and Lightning, would that get confusing? Or should it be more like this is the usual process you do for Bitcoin and then this is the process that you do for Lightning? Yeah, my personal view is, you know, whenever we talk about this, we should almost um, uh, expect that any wallet should, you know, from here on forward should, should support both. That's just maybe my personal view, but the, otherwise this is going to be super complicated long term. And I think this is where we need to get to, right? And that uh, bit that, that wallets that only support one or the other should be rare or they should they should not be recommended basically in in, in a couple of years time i'm not sure if people agree with that but basically writing about this i think it would yeah. be much easier if we take the position uh, about the products that we describe that they should support both on-chain transactions and lightning transactions hmm. is that is that too radical um i don't know that's a good question I'm, I'm trying to think about it like i mean uh no i mean i'm definitely in agreement with uh the notion that um uh many many more bitcoin wallets are going to you know start supporting lightning um as well uh you know uh, it's it's the only way that we're going to be able to scale for these these you know tiny fast payments. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely agree that so many more of them are, are going to uh, accept it. And I think it's going to become the norm that many of them are going to accept on chain and off chain. I guess what I'm curious about in my mind is like say um, a service like Casa or something like that that's just kind of like okay, our product offering is uh, strictly for multi sig security. And, um, you know, money that you want to keep super secure that you're not going to be spending very often. And uh, I'm not entirely sure if a service like that is going to feel the need to implement Lightning. And, and maybe there could be some other multi-sig services. That's just the, the brand that always pops to mind for me. So, I mean, that, that, that high security savings use case I'm not entirely sure if, if those are going to all feel the need to adopt Lightning. But no. I certainly think that most of them are. Actually, uh, you know, while you were talking, I think I convinced myself that I was wrong <laughs> <laughs> as well, because, um, you know, there, there might be and there will probably it be much more common in the future to have use cases where Lightning only is going to be the right choice as well. Um, so let me try and rephrase. <laughs> I think when we do write about this, maybe the kind of base position is that unless you have a really good reason not to support both, you know, that's our kind of underlying uh, proposition. But then of course we will have to, you know, talk about it when we talk about different use cases and stuff that it might be yeah it might be right to to not support both but like you should have a good reason basically instead of saying oh just do on chain and then in the future support lightning that that seems wrong yeah i think i think that sounds like a fair position to take especially since our, our kind of uh, scope for the time being is mobile non custodial so if it's mobile we can assume people want to take it and they want to spend um, you know wherever they take their phone uh, so that seems fair, and if and if somebody wants to take their phone and spend Bitcoin with them on the go, then the best experience is Lightning. You know, therefore, your your wallet should uh, support both of them, unless, as you said, 
you have a good reason not to. That, that, that seems fair. Yeah. And I think, you know, even, even down the line, you know, CASA might want to be able to receive, um, you know, like with lightning payments, uh, mm -hmm. but then it's still the use, the use case is still, you know, heavy storage, uh, don't, don't send very often, but like, so I think it will be more and more rare that you can support just one of the two. I'm going to put um, this in the notes. Okay. But um, I mean, for example, if you, if you do a lightning only one, then you have to have solved the on-ramp problem, right? Because you still, you know, at least for now, you still want people to be able to fund their wallets. And um, if you have solved it so that you can fund the wallet from fiat to lightning directly, then you're good, right? But if you still need someone to fund via, via an on-chain transaction and then somehow bridge over, then, then you have not solved it. <laughs> I guess it's uh, TBD, right? TBD, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I was surprised that everybody read from that to say, oh, they're going to build a, a, a DEX. That's not how I read it at all. I just no. thought, oh, this is an on-ramp uh, business. Yeah, I didn't quite get that decentralized exchange for it either, because it's touching fiat. Yeah. But anyway, 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 that's a side side oh. track. But yeah, that'll be interesting. Mm. Um, cool. Where were we? Onboarding. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, we should just put in here that. Um, I, it's another one that requires quite a bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> Major, basically. Uh, and then we'll need to split this out into issues as well. Yeah, but like, um, like who are we going to get to like analyze those sections? That's the thing, right? Um, is it, well, is it a collective effort or? No, I think, you know, same as with, um, you know, the getting started chapter you've gotten a bit further with, so you've, you've already started on the technical primer page, right? But before you did that, you took a look at it and said, oh, wow, this needs quite a lot of work. So I think we could do, we could basically, whoever wants to attack any of these chapters uh, can, can open an issue for every page that needs work and say, hey, I think this needs to be changed. Um, so and the, then once there has been some sort of uh, acknowledgement of that, you know, that person or someone else could open a PR for, for those changes. Do we create um, like discussions or something for each of those pages and um, like with a title like analyzing, um, analyzing page X um, for how to include lightning or whatever and then have discussions there? I would create uh, an issue for each page and say lightning updates to X page. Yeah, and then we can, I guess, bundle those issues in the milestone because if we start tackling issues in, without an order, it will be chaotic. So uh, like uh, in first milestone, we tackle the getting started and then we can go to onboarding and okay. yeah, in that order. But okay. yeah, having having the issues up front so that we can have discussions is great. I, I can take care of opening up the issues. Uh, we also have like this document notes from this call, which is, by the way, very productive. So we can then just turn those uh, into issues and then discuss them further. So issues, uh, as far as I'm concerned, are great. I yeah. already started like bundling, bundling things up in the milestones. So we'll... Okay just have a proposed like a workflow on how we can tackle it so okay i want to um uh t okay so in the issue um the issue is basically like this work that needs to get done right um which is like the um the let me see what page um uh creating a new wallet or um getting to know your users for instance we put every page inside of um as an issue and we say one of the first things that we need to do is to analyze this page to see what lightning content it needs to have. Now, what happens if we um, don't have lightning content to add to there? Is it like? Well, my view would be to you know do that little analysis before you create an issue. <laughs> so you know, have have a look at the page. 
Uh, if it does seem like it needs uh, to be updated, then we create an issue okay. and move on from there. That's my so, yeah, you can, idea. I, I suggest you open up like an issue, add lightning to the onboarding, create a wallet page, and then you, whoever is opening up issue can provide some ideas like add it here. I, I thought about it and it makes sense to add it here and there and then maybe do this and that. And then we can all discuss. And, so, uh, I was, so I was thinking that we use discussions for that because the person... Um, cause I think like some of these pages may take a while to like analyze and it, like it, I don't think it's like just one person saying like, Hey, you know, this is what needs to be updated on the, um, on this page and they're going to get everything. I think it has to be some kind of like, you know, maybe someone who's interested in nodes will be like, Oh, actually, you know, this is a good place to discuss X, Y, Z in there. But you can't add a discussion to a to a milestone, right? I, I feel uh, it's easy; yeah. it's fairly easy to have discussions yeah. on an issue. So, right? it, 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 so let me put it this way: I would agree with the issue thing too. I see where you're coming from with the discussions uh, thing, John's though. But um, to me, it seems like when the discussion happens about it, there's an invariably going to be an issue created that's like add lightning to onboarding, you know, to onboarding page one whatever. Mm -hmm. So like if there's invariably going to be an issue created for it, let's just go ahead and jump directly to the issue so that we don't have the discussion split into two different pages. Because some people will be discussing stuff on the discussion and then some people will be talking about stuff on the issue. Let's just go ahead and keep it all in one place so where we, we know where all the discussion is happening. Um, mm -hmm. that, that would be my, my approach to it at least. To yeah. me it's I, I view discussions as being um, GitHub discussions as being really good places um, where you want to have an open discussion and you don't necessarily know if an issue is going to come out of it or not. So that yeah, was my so point. Sorry, that was my point, meaning like, for example, um, you know, the page, uh, uh, for instance, uh, designing Bitcoin products principles, you know, do we know if there's going to be, um, uh, uh, like if we create an issue for that and then we like, we talk about it and we're like, oh, actually we don't need to update it because it's, it's, uh, it's well suitable. Then I would but just close, we close the issue. Okay. okay that's, yeah. That's fine, so honestly, discussions are there just to filter out random thoughts from actionable things that we can do. So issue is something that you can immediately tackle and turn into a productive thing. Whereas mm -hmm. discussions are just random things, random people who just want to discuss something open. But people mm -hmm. who want to do anything productive should have like tasks, which is an issue, a list of tasks that you can assign to yourself, add it to milestone and do something. So, okay. and if it's not something we already discussed and it's like actionable thing, let's do it as an issue and let's not complicate it. Uh, to okay. me, it's like over complication to do it, uh, discussion then converting into issues and stuff like that. But okay. I, so, I get your point, but I suggest issues. So then, um, the next question I would have is that, um, do we then, um, and, and I'm perfectly like I understand um, the rationale. The next question I would have is um, uh, do we do it per section or do we like create now um, for each page um, in the, like for all sections? Do we do it like for getting started as we know we're talking about this now? Do we do like all the subsequent um, sections as well? Do we create issues now for them? I personally feel like it should be an issue for each page. So why Bitcoin is unique should get an issue. Visual language should get an issue. Technology, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, et cetera, yeah. So, but are we only doing getting started or are we doing also the designing Bitcoin, onboarding, payments, et cetera? I, so I, I personally feel like I'm not sure, Pavlinix, I know you said you wanted to create a bunch of issues. And that sounds good. I think personally for now, like just for like the, the sake of like getting an achievable goal done, it would be good to just focus on like next milestone, do all of the stuff within getting started. Mm -hmm. Because I think we'll learn a lot about working with each other and working with lightning and the existing guide. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't really do this um, much in the, um, and, and we're coming up to the hour now, um, but uh, so I'll make this point and give other people a um, chance to talk. Um, we didn't really do this much um, in like that V1, but um, as we have this base, now, um, I think it would be valuable to get the rest of the community involved in, um, like, like more involved into like those future sections and whatnot. So I guess what I'm trying to say is like, how can we use those, um, 
you know, th those analysis tasks and whatever about lightning um, being integrated or not, how could we use that to build some engagement in the community? Because things have been like in a bit of a lull um, recently, summertime vibes, hot girl summer. Um, so like, perhaps we can say, hey, you know, here's like some pages or whatever, like, who wants to help out and it's maybe not the core people who are focused on that they're focused on like the getting started um uh, uh, as as it relates to the milestone but some content is actually some discussions and some activities happening on that that we can use when the time comes that, yeah. i think it's a good goal to try and get the community more engaged i would definitely like to see that i do also though feel that they tend to get engaged when there's something happening mm. as opposed to asking them to do stuff. Mm. Um, so, you know, this kind of page analysis thing we're talking about, it's not that hard work, right? They literally read the page, uh, think about lightning <laughs> and kind of give a rough summary of how much work will it be to rewrite this page, if at all. Uh, to include lightning as we want it. That's literally it, right? I mean, it shouldn't take anybody more than maximum half an hour to write that issue, you know, if even that, right? Uh, 30 minutes, including reading, I would, I would even go as far as to say. So I think it's reasonable for us as contributors to do that bit. Then I think it's definitely a great idea to you know, share that, hey, you know, we're getting, you know, we're getting going, uh, updating these pages for Lightning, here's the issue, and here are the thoughts we have so far. And then, you know, get their comments. But I think we're going to get very little back if we say, you know, have a look at the pages, see what you think needs doing for Lightning. I, I think it's not going to be much. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think I, I invite people to contribute, invite people to look at it. I don't think we should um, operate under the assumption that people are going to to do that because um, they may not, but yeah, certainly if you want to uh, open the invitation for people to um, yeah. put their thoughts on the issue, that doesn't bother me. I think um, you know, just saying like you know, it's open isn't like good enough. Though we have to create the structures around it um, to to enable that. And um, and uh, 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 I guess like how um, uh, like another part of the rationale is like if it's like for instance the like look at case studies and we know that we're going in sequential order, then that's not something that we're going to need for many months to come, right, to, to look at. And that gives someone who, um, you know, who maybe doesn't have a lot of time or whatever to do like one day, uh, two weeks or one day every three weeks or whatever, um, that they could like uh, do that analysis. Maybe they have to learn some stuff as well, et cetera. But it, it's, it's, we're still going off the assumption that we don't need it. Um, like right now, it's like so far down the line, and um, uh, 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 and and when the time comes, if it is there, then well, that's great. So we have some 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 work that's been done. But I'll um, I'll 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 leave that on. Um, I'll leave that topic for now. I think one way that this could um, encourage a little conversation. I th I you know I do think that it's hard for maybe right now to ask anyone to read it, but. There can be things that are very specific that may be tied in to social media and maybe it's more of an encouragement of conversation on a specific section or a specific piece that's added to something that we're revealing. And then from there say, hey, if you want to review, if this issue is open, you know, and then that may encourage somebody to come in. It may be a different approach. Uh, since we haven't tried it, it'd be something interesting. But I think it has to go with something specific that somebody could answer on the fly if they wanted to. Yeah. Well, there's definitely lots of opinions on, on Twitter, so maybe that's even better than GitHub issues. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, 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 GitHub discussion, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 back to the GitHub. Yeah. I'm in two minds as well about, you know, uh, getting the community involved. And <laughs> that can take a lot of expressions, right? Like. The, the best form is when more people become contributors and say, oh, okay, well, you know, uh, this issue here, I found, uh, I've opened up a PR and I've kind of contributed. The worst form of 
community contribution, I think, is, you know, drive by criticism that is not actually uh, productive. <laughs> you can get a hundred people's opinion on a symbol and, you know, you've gotten none the wiser for it. Uh, basically, you just realize that everybody hates each other and uh, have lots of opinions. So I think, again, we should try and, you know, solicit contributions as much as possible. Uh, that's just my personal view because I, I know that you know if you get 10 people to write one page it's going to be 10 times harder <laughs> and take 10 times longer than if you get one person to propose to pro propose the first version and then get the other nine people to you know comment their feedback yeah. mm -hmm. um, that's just my personal view but I think this has been a really productive session and it sounds like Pavanax is about to point us in the direction of the first milestone in a while with uh, updating the Getting Started Guide for Lightning. And it feels like we're going to get it done. Hey, uh, finally, finally oh. we're kicking things off. I bet, I bet that GitHub activity channel in Slack is about to light on fire. Hey. <laughs> um, I'm looking for a plan I can come up with it. So on that note, um, this has been the Design Guide Jam number 13. And um, uh, yeah, it's been productive. Thank you guys for participating. Of course, um, uh, you can, we can carry on the discussion. But for now, the video is done. There you go.